Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a vessel out of trailers. So this means that not only are you going to get a nice looking vehicle, but you're going to have a safe place for your wood so it won't fall out, which is a lifesaver. And you might be saying, why? Because trailers don't fall that often. It is because they do. Sometimes your trailer glitches out and goes upside down and it is the worst. I hate it, but with this, they won't and you'll get more space. So you're going to want to take a large trailer like this and place it about four studs away from your main car i'm going to use this car and then you're going to want to place a large floor just like this and then uh just probably at the middle and then flip your vehicle upside down so it's facing the same way the buttons are at the same place but upside down and then you're going to want to take your button and place it right here and by the way, credit goes to Bunny Films for making a video on how to make one of these, but with your truck, it makes it basically like a tank. The only problem with it is that you won't be able to get out as easy, so I don't really like it as much, but this is a nice little compromise. And then, but anyways, you're going to want to take your wires, connect them to a button, just like this. And then the other one. And this step isn't completely necessary, but it makes it a ton easier. And then I'm going to just take this smooth wall, destroy it, and then make this just like this. Put this wedge like this. It has to be a 1x4 wedge. doesn't entirely have to, but it will make it a lot easier and be more convenient so you're going to want to press the button three two one just like that and it will place a nice trailer i'm just gonna try to make them the same color ah nice army green that's pretty nice and then i'm going to take this truck back it up a little bit i'm gonna try to get it made make it the same color just because Just like that, and then I'm going to back it up so it pretty much meets the back of this little wedge. You might need to move the wire just like this to make it a little bit easier, but you can probably find a way to connect it without having to move it every single time. Then you're going to want to drag it up the wedge and then move the wedge. Don't have entirely have to, but I'm just going to do it so it makes it guaranteed not to get stuck. And then I'm going to drive outwards. And now if you're wondering how to put the log in, you're going to want to put it like this. Open the hatches just like that. Tailgate, not hatches, sorry. Uh, but then you can fit your log just right in and it works so nice. As you can see, it looks super nice. This is super cool. And I'm going to just try to my best to show you that these logs will not fall out. And I'm going to just try and then show you. Get right inside. As you can see, the log is still in there, all intact. Anyways, that's that. Looks super cool. Actually, that looks amazing. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video once it's out.